today we are gonna go to the famous cenotes here in Mexico. I'm gonna go with my friend Daniel that I met not too long ago. We are on our way, my friend Daniel that I met uh, not too long ago. Hola. <laughs> today we're gonna go to three different uh, cenotes here um, outside uh, Merida, which is a um, big city located in the state of Yucatan. We are um, halfway to the first cenote. <laughs> we, pick up, uh, we picked up another friend. So we stopped at the gas station here and there's 7-Eleven and they're playing some Mexican music here. We got my coffee and now we are listening to some uh, typical uh, reggaeton, reggaeton, reggaeton uh, Mexican music. We don't very like good. it very much. <laughs> but it's good, I like it. Right, we are coming into the first cenote. Um, it seems to be a secret spot that nobody knows about. My friend Daniel has a tourist company and knows about many cool places around in Merida. The state of Yucatan is very flat and most of the cenotes are located out in the forest. It's a big hole and really clean water. Now I'm down here inside the cenote. It's really cool. You see how clean the water is. When the sun hits the water surface, it creates this really nice and blue color. underwater rivers in all of the state of Yucatan in Mexico. They have super clear and refreshing water. A lot of the cenotes are very deep and have different chambers that you can do scuba diving in. swimming up and down and jumping so many times but we didn't really get enough of this paradise like mm. swimming hole
now we're on the way to um, the second cenote for today. Yeah. We had a great time here at this one. We spent two hours in the cenote. We had some oh. great shots. Yeah. The next cenote was also located far out in the forest. We are here at the next cenote, ready to jump in. Uh, we drove through some uh, smaller neighborhoods to get here. This one is bigger, but there's no sunlight, so we might not be able to see someone. There were some local people there, and I was getting ready to jump from the top about 15 meters. Cenote! so much today and um, this is the second cenote so nice you can see like 30 meters almost down just see everything and I think there are also different chambers that go in like if you would have uh, or if you would go diving you could uh, dive into a bunch of different chambers <laughs> really nice it's the end of the cenote trip we are on our way home but we did see two really amazing cenotes here and there are some local people also uh, that were swimming in the cenote we are here in a little small mexican village um, hanging out i think they said that we're gonna give us some food <laughs> can't believe it it's in the middle of the winter here now in mexico and it's 28 degrees celsius this is what I've been looking for, this type of climate. Always warm, nice and warm, never cold. Always sunshine. <laughs> El Borrego, bah. Camión también puede ser. Algo. Catch. <laughs> <laughs> Panuchos and uh, it's a tortilla and inside the tortilla you have beans in the middle of the um, bread and uh, you have some chicken also All right, so we were on our way to leave but found out that there is a cenote underneath this tree so now we're gonna climb down on a ladder all the way down to the bottom. We are 
about 10-15 meters down the cenote now and uh, there's a ladder that we're climbing down on and there's a bunch of water you can't really see it but it's super, the water is really clean we're about 30 meters below the uh, ground Hello. Where are you? On the ground, somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> we had a nice little swim in the cenote on the ground. Really cool. We climbed back up inside the roots of the tree and back up to the surface. Now we were on our way home after a great day full of adventures. If you enjoyed watching this video, please leave it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and see you next time.